Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to the channel. Long time I haven't posted on this, but listen, today on a, I'm on a mission. Uh, today's mission uh, is locate a fuel pump for my 2002 Honda Civic. This car I've owned since 2002. I bought it new. Um, and it's time to pass it on to my son, and the fuel pump is acting up, I think. Um, I put a lot of stuff into this car. We're getting it ready for him, you know, time and belt. I did the tensioner, spot plugs, oil packs, um, everything. The car is ready to go. Um, it still has a little bit of hesitation, and I was getting worse. Keep to find out, I need a fuel pump. So today I'm going out to the scrapyard. One of my favorite places called Everett's in Brockton. I'm going over there and I'm going to pick up a fuel pump. I know you're going to say, you know, you should have bought the fuel pump, brand new, and this and that. But the fact is that, the, you know, an aftermarket fuel pump, a good quality aftermarket fuel pump for this car runs about $300, three dollars $350. Um, if you get one from the dealership, it's going to run you about $600. Um, and at the end of the day, I don't want to pay 600. I don't want to pay 350. And I know you can get one online and car parts for like 90 bucks, but a lot of those cheap ones, you know, those 90 dollar fuel pumps, assemblies, the whole, the, they come with the whole kit assembled. A lot of times those things, you know, they they're Mickey Mouse parts. They ain't gonna last. So I'd rather go to a junkyard where I can have you know, a, a, a a choice of 12, 15 Honda Civics that are there. I can kind of figure out the mileage on these cars, um, and I can pull, you know, OEM part out of a used vehicle um, that's probably good. And I'm only paying 30 bucks for this. So on top of that, and the, 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 the pumps look good. I get my 30 dollar credit. You know, I may use it for something else in the future. But this is a quick video on how to take a fuel pump out of a 2002 Honda Civic. All right, uh, let's go, and I'll see you when I get to the junkyard. Here we go. We got Honda Civics for Dave. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a fit. Seven. Eight. It's a hatch. Nine, ten. We got over 15 Honda Civics here, so. I'm gonna just pick one with the least amount of miles. And how can I tell how many miles they got? For example, this one, I just look up here, and this one's got 133. You know, I just do that. I'll check every single one of them. Try to find the one that got the least miles on it. Take the seat out, and just remove the fuel pump. I got the exact tools that I need. So I didn't bring nothing extra. But uh Yeah, it's as simple as that. You know? Why spend three hundred dollars if you ain't got to? Come over here and spend thirty bucks. Oh I gotta get some gloves because it's kinda cold out today. Alright, so let me take my time here and find the one that got the least miles and uh pull the fuel pump. Alright? Get back to you. Okay, and the winner is this uh, 2001, no, it's a 2002 two-door coupe. Um, uh, reason why this is in the scrapyard, got a little front-end damage, um, which I don't see. And the floors are pretty bad in the trunk. It's got some rot in the trunk, so that's the reason why it's here. But the mileage on this one... Well, the next service date was 140, so it's gotta be in that vicinity. Um, but the car looks clean. It's got brand new struts in the front, and uh, it looks pretty clean inside. So it looks like they were trying to take care of this car. Um, but you know how to take this uh, fuel pump out? It's basically there's a couple 10 millimeter bolts tucked in in here. Uh, which I'll show you in a little bit and um, gonna get to those you know with an extension and a ratchet in my handy dandy um, 10 millimeter socket 
you know you don't need this setup but it helps um, but let me find those boats and I'll show you in a little bit all right well the boat is one here and one here this is fairly easy because it only has one because someone's already in here um, and then you rip the seat up but they just got this front clip here and that clip goes into there and it latches the front of the seat so yeah it's got a boat here the one on the left is not there because someone already took the seat out before to install some music I'm guessing so that boat's out he just comes up that's what I said see See, that's the music, so the boat, I see a boat right there. Actually, this one only has one. And that's the wiring on the wiring harness that I had. But that's the fuel pump there. Um, I'm going to be cutting these wires. But when I install it into mine, I won't cut the wires. I just use the clips. But that's how you get to it. Okay? Now let me take these screws out. Got four Phillips. It's got four flips here. Fairly easy to come out. No power at all needed. You know. Can you use a drill? You don't have to. But it helps. You know. These are fairly hand tight. Like I said this vehicle has 140. Um bar here just kind of see it take this off slowly because there is no fuel pump in here it's crazy I don't know if you guys saw that but when I took the cover off the, <laughs> off the fuel pump there was no gas tank in it and I, I went to the front and the guy told me yeah go in the back and pull them out and I went outside I went, I went, I went back inside the office like yo do you guys take the fuel tanks out of the vehicle he's like ah, I think we do so why you told me to go pull one out if you guys take the tanks out? But anyway, they had one on the shelf. I just didn't want to pay 45 for it. I wanted to be cheap and pay 30. But they had one in stock and uh, the donor vehicle had like 90,000 miles on it. And uh, here it is. So I'm gonna put this one in my vehicle because they had no tanks in any of their vehicles. They usually just put holes in them and drain them. But nowadays they just uh, take, take, take the, uh, the uh, fuel tanks out. But here it is though. It looks pretty good, it's got 90,000 miles on it. So, a little dirty on top, clean it up, and uh, pop this in the car. Six more warranty. So, if it works out, it works out, all right? I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I was like, yo, once I saw that, I was cracking up. I was like, there's no freaking tank up in here. How am I supposed to saw someone to pull a fuel pump out if there ain't no tank fuel pump in the vehicle that was crazy though i was cracking myself up yo but i went back in there I was like yo you told me to go 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 grab my own fuel my own fuel pump and i paid 30. he's like i i i i thought we uh we <laughs> they used to because back in the day they used to just like i said drill holes into the um tanks and drain them because i've been i've been coming here since i was since i was a kid you know what i mean I first started driving. I used to take spark plugs out of these vehicles and put them in my vehicles. I was, you know, hell, hella broke back then. But um, but nah, nah, now they take the tanks out. It's crazy though. <laughs> I'm gonna go deep. I'm gonna show you how to take a tank out. A few uh, a few pump when there ain't no fuel tank in it. <laughs> it's crazy. But anyway, let me back to my crib and uh, I'll show you how to put it in. <laughs> All right. I'm back at the house and I'm really getting ready to um, take the fuse out, out of the fuse panel. It's a 15 amp fuse, number 17. Um, you can find it on the cover of your the floor kicker, the kick panel. It's right there. It's a 15 amp fuse, number 17. I already took it out. It will crank because my fuel pump is weak, but
So here we go. I'm in the back of the car now. You know, tools I got. Obviously, got a pry bar. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pry bar. My handy dandy 10 millimeter socket. Um, hammer to get the ring off the top. And a screwdriver for the cover. That's all you need for this job. And also, I got a half a tank of gas. And I got me a little bucket here from Dollar Tree. So when I pull the my uh, pump out, I'll just set it in here. Take it out and then pop a new one in. Okay? Let's see how this goes. Hopefully, I have a fuel pump and a gas tank in this car. Okay? All right. That was easy. My mechanic was actually in this car and he did not put back my 10 millimeter bolt. It's actually right here. So that's the bolt you remove. Just gotta tuck yourself, you know, get your fingers in there, get the extension in there, and then back off that bolt. But he didn't put it back, but I'll be putting it back after I'm done. So I'll put it up there for now. You don't know how many times I've been trying to get a cup of coffee and and, and oh, it didn't have any change for a cup of coffee. Look at all this change in here. You know, you want to you want to make bank. You know, how, you know how many coins I pulled out of the uh, the donor car that I was gonna actually um, the car that I was gonna try to take the pump out of. There was like two bucks worth of coins in there. But you know, look how much money you can actually make. You know. My kids' toys and stuff. But I'll be vacuuming this stuff up after I'm done. You know? But in the meantime, let me just clean this up so I got no dirt around it. And I'll get back to you. So we're just going to just remove these four screws. You already know. I showed you guys earlier. So let's just skip back skip past this part all right I took the screws off so gently lift up and remove this clip clip in there and I had freaking squirrels living in here probably at one time just push this little tab right here and slide up I had this car in my uncle's house for like six months when I went and got it, there was squirrels. Uh, there was nuts in my intake. Because these cars are infamous for transmission. And my transmission went years, years, years ago. Uh, when I had about 100,000 miles. It's got 215 now. And uh, my training went. So I had to um, replace it. And it sat in his house. And he had a lot of squirrels. And probably got in here. But let me go get my shop vac. And clean this up before I uh, remove that this black ring here. All right, let me get back to you. There's a little shop vac. Highly recommend it. Ten bucks in Walmart clearance aisle one time. It gets the job done. Good. She went and got the crevice tool because you gotta get way in there. It wasn't working out. It's done. All right, I'll get all this other junk after I'm all set with this. But uh, this, I can try to back it up with my hand, but I'm gonna use a little pry bar here. Bang it, turn it. You know, lefty loosey, righty tighty, okay? All right, I'll get back to you after I loosen it up. All right, I just went in the house real quick and got my, one of my old work shirts, because we gotta remove this this line here so where you remove the line is you push down on these sides here and pull this part out 
and it comes right off. I did take the fuse out, cranked it. Um, so hopefully there's not much in there. But if there is, I just have it squared onto this shirt, and then I just toss that right out of the car, and then like that I can just finish. Cause this this here is, is already loose. I banged that free with the pry bar and the hammer. So once I uh, take this off, you know, get let let the fuel drain out, I will go ahead and, re and, re and remove this this ring. All right. So let's see what happens. Perfect. No fuel at all. Probably a couple of drops came out. So I just tuck this back to the side a little bit, so I can go and remove, remove this ring. A few pumps gonna rise up a little bit because I do have half a tank, and it's floating up in there. Put this ring to the side, and I could just raise this fuel pump out of here. And it's got half a tank. Hopefully, I don't make that much of a mess. Actually, let me put this shirt down. Hold up. So I put the shirt down so I can just lift it out of here and put it right in the bucket. And if I get some fuel out of it, I'll just go right on the shirt. Okay, let's see how this goes. All right, so I took it out. Um, when you pull it out, make sure, you see how this, it was, it was getting stuck here, right here on that back lip, right there, this part here. So when you pull out, make sure it flexes like this you see how that's flexing like that so it can just pull right out it was getting cut on this back lip here on this little right there so I had to make sure I stuck a screwdriver in, in front of it and made it just arch like that and it slides right out not much fluid in it right now so See this one, this one is a lot more yellow than mine. The one I got from the scrapyard. That's white. It's more yellowish. But alright, let's put this one in and see what happens. I just skipped a lot of parts, but I just eased it in the same way. Put the float in first. Ease it in, pop. It's on a spring, so you gotta push down on it so you can screw the ring on. I'll show you what I mean with the spring. See the spring right there? So, so it goes down here. So when you set it inside, push down on the pump, make sure it's tracing straight back. This clip is straight back, and then you just push it right in, and then put the ring on it. It's gonna soak up some of that fuel right there. I put the clip back, make sure the clip clips back in its place. Now all I gotta do is just plug this in. But before I do that, I'm just gonna soak up some of that fuel with, with the with my old work shirt. All right, so I put the fuse in number 17. Remember, um, the issues my car had, I was getting hesitation, and it seemed like I was running out of gas. And then I will pull over, give some throttle, and I'll go on throughout the day. And this has been happening for a couple years. I don't really use this car that often anymore. So I have that my work van, another work van. I have a car there, and my wife has another car that she's in. So I don't really use this car. I was just saving it for my son. It's time for him to drive. And I've been having that issue for, for years now. Um, I put a heater core in this van, in, the, in this car, where my boy did. I did a bunch of stuff. I did a bunch of stuff. And I still had the hesitation to a fact that it was getting worse. Now it, it wouldn't crank over, and it would like run like crap, stall out. So I put the fuel pump in it, see what happens. Um, hopefully it's, it, it's it. Yeah, Reading fuel, half a tank. Let's see. Started right up the way it was supposed to. It wasn't doing that before. Let's see if it starts stuttering, you know. You get a little gas. So far, so good. So far, so good. My baby right here. 215,000. I've owned this since 
2002. I'll give you guys a little walk around. Like I said, I haven't used this car in years. But now I gotta get new tires. If everything works out, go put the seat back. Um, you know, okay. I should have put a cover on it because I haven't used it in a long time. I just set up in the sun. And I gotta get this repainted. But if it all works good, I'm gonna have my boy paint it, repaint it, and uh, get it back on the road. Uh, let me show you the wheels that I, it had before. This, this used to be like my weekend car, you know, back in the day when I, you know, it was lowered. It had some music in it when I used to do that kind of stuff. It had these on it. Uh, I got to get some new tires. It's still like brand new. I took them off the car because, you know, I wasn't um, doing that kind of stuff anymore. So I put the fire trees back on it and parked it. My wife used it a little bit. It's like a summer. And then in 2012, I bought her that. So far, so good. She's running. No hesitation. Yippee. Life is good. Thank you, Jesus. Because I've got Ty listening to my wife. Get the car fixed. Get the car fixed. Get the car fixed. Now the car is fixed. And move on to the next. Thanks for watching. Um, I still can't... <laughs> Get that past my head I, I took that cover off that car and there was no there was no tank in it but anyway you know i, I hope you guys can help you but if, if 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 i talk to mars and didn't get too much good instructions i'm sorry about that but thanks for watching uh i will be having some new videos up if you like the van built stuff i got a new one right there that's the new project 2012 that's my old one it's got 350,000 miles on it I'm gonna put everything from that one, put it in this one, change it up a little bit, get on the traveling. I haven't doing I haven't been doing much of that. Follow me from those days, but you know, I will be putting this van together in the springtime. Alright? Uh thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. UCG, peace out. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you later. Bye bye.